This is Hybrid Tech and Cross-Dimensional Thinking, first slide. Thank you for your time and attention at this Hybrid Tech and Cross-Dimensional Thinking demo sponsored by Institute for New Paradigms. My avatar name is Sidearm. And in virtual worlds, I teach professional team building and online collaboration, which is one of the ways I met Akapate here. I also met him live in Dublin many years ago. Zoom, Skype, Discord, WhatsApp. Today we're faced with an alphabet of options while we daily deal with our lives, careers, and studies. What is an avatar to do? Can humans cope and rise above the confusion of what to use when, where, and for what? Of course we can. Hybrid tech means combining tools in optimal ways by playing to their strengths and mediating to their weaknesses relative to the use at hand. Cross-dimensional thinking means combining perspectives in optimal ways by playing to their commonalities and mediating their differences relative to the use at hand. The flowchart in this slide shows combining tools and perspectives to create use cases based on needs. It's up to us to use our priorities to drive how we use technology options, not the other way around. Usefulness trumps coolness. Perspective trumps confusion. We will now review three use cases demonstrating how tools and perspectives can be blended interchangeably relative to the use at hand. We're shifting position to the second slide. Next slide, what's your IPD? This slide shows a definition of IPD and a demonstration of how it's measured. Interpupillary distance is the distance between your eyes. IPD must be set correctly in eyeglasses and VR headsets for them to work. The first image shows how to measure your IPD using a mirror and ruler. The second image shows an example of measuring your IPD using an iPhone app. Do you use eyeglasses? Do you use VR headsets? What's your IPD? <laughs> Next slide. Headsets in medicine. This slide shows a use case of a virtual loop. The first image on the left shows a surgeon's loop, which is a pair of eyeglasses with stereo microscopes attached. Loops are used for precision in many types of surgery, including ophthalmology, orthopedic, gynecological, otolaryngology, neurosurgery, oral, plastic, podiatric, and pediatric. Surgeon's loops must be custom made for different IPDs, like eyeglasses, and in matching sets for different magnifications. The three images on the right show a virtual reality headset with stereo cameras featuring variable zoom, like a digital camera, and a step motor for automatic adjustment to the user's IPD. The last image on the left shows a surgeon using a virtual loop to practice micro suturing as part of a case study sponsored by Vario and Virginia Tech. Next slide. What's your TLDR? This slide shows definitions of TLDR attention span, 
and a demonstration of ways to refocus attention that has been lost. Too long, didn't read, refers both to the material that is inherently difficult to understand and to ways of making such material easier to understand. For example, providing summaries of key points. Do you encounter material difficult to comprehend? Do people find your material difficult to comprehend? What's your TLDR? Next slide. Biosensors in e-learning. This slide shows a definition of biosensors and a demonstration of their use to identify ways to maintain attention. The first image shows a volunteer test subject watching and studying presentations online, eye tracking, galvanic skin response, and EEG are used to monitor the volunteer's visual, emotional, and cognitive engagement. The second image shows guidelines for designing online presentations that maintain attention from a case study sponsored by iMotions and Corporate Visions. It was called, as you might expect, the Zoom Fatigue Study. You can test and use these guidelines on the slide for yourself by looking at your own materials and presentations that you have found to be effective. Next slide. What's your MA? The top of this slide shows a definition of music awareness and a demonstration of musical awareness components. Sensitivity to melody and rhythm in sound extends itself to musical expression in sound, such as being able to hum to a song or clap to a beat. There are online music awareness tests you can try for your own curiosity and interest. Do you have a favorite song or beat? Are you a musical prodigy lying in wait? What's your MA? It's 3D in music. The bottom of this slide shows a 3D orchestra kit and a demonstration of instructions for use. The 3D orchestra kit is part of a use case exploring ways to extend musical awareness and expression using 3D. It features a synthesizer, rings, a drum kit, circles, and a keyboard cubes. Next slide. What's your 411? This slide shows sources of material covered in this demonstration. Reference links are live in the slide deck link provided separately by Eileen. Thank you for your attention and interest so far. We have seen three use cases demonstrating combinations of tools and perspectives. Headsets in medicine, biosensors in e-learning, 3D in music.